In this video, we're going to talk about how to use a external potentiometer to control the frequency of the PowerFlex 525 using the TII Technical Education Systems model ACD 525. So to do this, we're going to have to get into the parameters. Now you can see here this potentiometer is a is going to set a voltage to the PowerFlex 525 of between 0 and 10 volts. So we want to bypass this potentiometer here and be able to use this externally so an operator can use it to set the frequency to whatever is required to match the speed of the three-phase motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter into the menu to set the speed reference. We want to, we want to go into P43. We will hit enter. This is set to 1. 1 means that you're going to use the drive potentiometer right here, but we want to change that. So we're going to hit select and we're going to go up to 5. And I always recommend if you're doing this by hand to give it a second and it will walk you through and say this has 0 to 10 volts. Some can be used and set to 4 to 20 milliamps, 1 to 5 volts, whatever analog signals required. But what we have coming in now is a 0 to 10 volt. So we will enter that in. We will hit escape. And I'm going to set my voltage down to 0. I'm going to hit the start button. I'm going to escape three times. Get back to the main menu. I'm going to hit the start button. It's kicked on. You can hear the fan in the VFD running. Since I'm at 0, my frequency here is at 0 and the fan is not spinning. But as I begin to increase it, you can see that the frequency is being adjusted along with the voltage. And the fan speed is now running at full. So if I go to roughly 5 volts here, I should be pretty close to about 30 hertz and I'd be running at the motor at half speed. And so now an operator can come here and adjust this to control the speed of the variable frequency drive. This was just a quick tutorial on how to set the parameters in the PowerFlex 525 to be able to control the speed of the motor via the frequency using a potentiometer. As always, I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please hit the like and subscribe button.